Tell you that chance and welcome to the show. Today I'll be showing you how you back up all your data to your QNAP NAS. I'll be showing you how to back it up automatically from your PC or Mac, access files from your phone, your computer, anywhere, how to manually back up things, how to create folders and so on. So if you want to know how to back up to your NAS, you're not sure how to do it, just stay tuned. Let's get stuck into it. So you've bought your QNAP. You've whacked your WD Reds in, you've initialized it, you've set it up, and if you don't know how to do that, check out my video on how to set up and install your QNAP NAS here. So you've done all that, so you wanna know how do I back stuff up to my QNAP. Now, so if you set up your QNAP NAS, and this applies for just about any QNAP NAS this will apply to. So, first things first, let's have a look through File Explorer. If you just open File Explorer on your PC and then go down to network you should see your NAS there as well as all your other computers now now when you first click on network it may ask you do you want this computer to be visible to other computers on your network you have to say yes and once you do it should show up with all your network devices on your local network now we're going to go to QNAP now your QNAP may have folders on it already depending on what apps you've installed or it may not but if you click on the QNAP, it should come up with the folders there that are on your QNAP. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping files into those folders. Now, if you haven't got folders, you're going to have to make them inside QTS. And how you do that is log into your QTS. I'm going to use QFinder Pro and I'll leave links in the description. So it's best that you download and install QFinder Pro and also QSync so you can follow along with what I'm doing. So we're just going to connect using QFinder Pro. I'm going to log in. Once you log in to QTS, you just go to File Station. It might be on your desktop here or you just click over here on the top left hand corner and go to File Station. And once you're in file station, you just click on the volume there and then click on plus and you make a folder. Now you can go through all the settings of these folders to encrypt it, put a password on these folders, make it only shareable with certain people. We're just going to go through a basic folder and leave the default settings and we're just going to call this new folder. Why not? Now just create. Now when I go to Windows Explorer, and click on my NAS there, I should have a folder called new folder, new folder, there you go. Now, you just use that like any other folder, drag files from that folder onto your computer, drag files from your computer onto that manually, just works like any other folder. So that's one way you can back up. You can also back up using QTS. So if you log into QTS and you wanna back something up from your computer, you just go to here and click on file and I'll click on that file there, open it. it. Comes up with the warning saying, if you've got a file with the same name, do you want to skip it or override it, whatever. And that will upload. And because I was in the test folder there, that has just uploaded that picture into the test folder. So that's simple. That's uploading files to your QNAP NAS using QTS. And the same thing applies if you want to download stuff. So if you want to download stuff, you just right click on it and click on download and it will download it to your computer. So that's how you back up files from your computer to QNAP and that's how you take files off your QNAP to your computer, Mac or PC using QTS. Now, if you want to automatically back stuff up, you have to install QSync Client. Now I'll leave a link in the description to that. Now once you install QSync Client, go through the setup procedure, set up your NAS, so on. And once it's set up, it'll create a folder. Now I've put a shortcut to this folder on my desktop, shortcut here. And basically what happens is any files you're working on, what you want to do is save them in this folder. So for example, this Premiere Pro project here, 
I open and close that and I save it into there, it automatically gets backed up. Anything in this folder automatically gets backed up. And as you can see here, I have that folder on my quick access as well. And it will show up in the file explorer on the left on the Mac as well. So this is easy. Any files that you want to automatically back up, make sure you're working on them in that QSync folder and they will automatically be backed up. And if I just drag something in there, automatically backs up to your QNAP. So that's how you automatically back up. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on your mobile device. Okay, so now you wanna access or upload your files remotely. So what you have to do is it's to go into QTS and you want to set up my QNAP cloud account. And once you go through all the steps to set up your my QNAP cloud account, you'll set up a username, which is what you'd use in these mobile apps here. You'll also be given a URL. All you do with that URL is paste it into your browser and that will take you to your NAS. Now in this case, we're doing it on our mobile phone. So I'll just show you here. QNAP have a whole suite of apps. It's awesome. You have QPhoto, QFile, QMusic, QVideo, and you can you even have VMobile. Have a look at your surveillance cameras. Now, this is really awesome. This means you can back up your photos or any files from your phone to your QNAP NAS device, or you can actually access all your files on your on your QNAP NAS remotely or even locally inside your house. Now with the mobile app, you just use these one of these apps here. So for example, we wanna access some files, we'll go to Q file, and I've already set it up here. Let's click on my NAS, and I can see all my files on my NAS. And I can easily just go into any of these folders and click on a file, and I can download it to my phone remotely, no problem. Now if you want to upload, just click on the menu, click on upload, and we'll just say from photo gallery, we'll just upload these nasty donuts here. Upload, boom, that's on your NAS now. So you can back up your files off your phone to your NAS from this mobile app here. And there's a whole suite of apps, as I've said. You can also access all your content from your NAS using these mobile apps. And you can do the same thing with your PC or Mac, just punching in that My QNAP Cloud account into your browser, and you'll be able to access your NAS that way, remotely. So there you have it, guys. You got your awesome QNAP NAS. Now you know how to back up all your stuff, create folders. If this tutorial has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up there. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and until next time, guys, tally-ho. Sunshine, high side, no smile.